Welcome to Dollars and Bills. In this lesson, I'm learning to add positive and negative numbers. Well, let's start by drawing a number line and finding out where these uh, positive and negative numbers live. Um, in the middle of my number line, I'm going to write 0. And if I head this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, and on and upwards, we're talking about positive numbers. And if I start heading down this way, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, I'm talking about negative numbers and I'm going down that way. The number line goes on forever that way and on again it goes on forever in this direction as well. Let's start with some questions and see how they fit onto this number line here. Um, let's imagine I uh, borrowed some money off my brother so I owe him one dollar. Notice how next to that amount I've put a wee negative sign because it's not one dollar that I have, it's one dollar that I owe. And then um, I do a bit of help in the garden and mum and dad give me a one dollar for all of my work. So I owe a dollar and then I work and I get given a dollar. I want to work out how much money that leaves me with. Well let's start by locating negative one on my number line. That's here, and then, so that's this negative one, and then I got given a dollar for all my work, so that moves me up to here, so I'm on zero, so negative one plus one equals zero. Let's try another example which is sort of similar to see whether the order is important. Um, let's, this time I've been working in the garden and I get given a dollar for my work, but I also owe my sister some money and just like last time I'm putting that wee negative around here because it's money that I owe not money that I have. So one dollar plus negative one. Well let's start by finding one on the number line and now I need to add this amount I owe so I'm going to be heading back that way because I need to pay my sister that dollar back. Um, so you can see that I've gone from one dollar back to zero. So one plus negative 1 also equals 0. And if I make the numbers even just a little bit bigger, I'm still going to get the same result. Let's imagine this time um, I've been working in the garden, I get given $3 plus I owe um, another cousin $3. So again I find uh, 3 on my number line over here. It's money that I've got to pay back so I'm moving this way and I have to move back 3 and you can see that that also takes me back to zero. I guess they cancel each other out. And that makes sense because I've earned three dollars but I owe somebody else three dollars so I'm having to use my three dollars to pay back that debt. Now let's try another example. Um, this time I owe my brother two dollars but I've been working really hard uh, in the garden so this time mum and dad have rewarded me with five dollars. I want to work out how much money that leaves me with. So to start with, I'm going to draw a number line here, put my zero in the middle, I'm going to find negative two on the number line because that's where I'm starting, because that's how much I owe. Now because I've been working, I've been given this five dollars, so I know that that's going to move me in that direction. Well, I could break five into two and a three and I could use this two dollars to pay off my debt. So my first movement is up to there, that's plus two, and that's paid off my debt. Now I've still got this three extra dollars, so this, that's going to keep me moving that way. And zero plus three gets me to three on my number line. So negative two plus five must equal three. Let's try another example. Um, this time I owe mum and dad uh, ten dollars for something that they've bought me. Um, so I've been working hard cl uh, cleaning and washing cars and I've earned back twelve dollars. I want to work, uh, work out how much money I've got now. So I'll draw my number line and I'll put zero in the middle and remember this number line goes on forever in that direction and forever in that direction. I'm going to start at negative 10 because that's the amount that I owe and I've been earning money so I know I'm going to be heading in that direction. Well 12 is made up of a 10 
and a two, so I can use this ten dollars to pay off my debt to mum and dad. That ten plus ten is going to move me back up to zero. And from there, I have of course got two more dollars left, which will take me to two on my number line. So negative ten plus twelve equals two. Let's try another example. Um, I've just picked up a paper run and I've earned $24. And when I get home, uh, mum reminds me of a debt that I have to repay to her of $6. So I want to work out how much money that leaves me with. Well, let's start by imagining my number line, zero on it, negative numbers down that way, positive numbers up this way. I'm starting at 24 because that's how much money I earned from my paper run. And unfortunately I've got this debt of $6 so I know that I'm going to be moving that way. So if I have to repay a debt of uh, $6 from my 24, I know that that's going to lead me to having $18 left. So 24 plus negative 6 equals Hopefully you've found this lesson helpful. For more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.